Putin changes nuclear rules, Russia intends to use these weapons. Moscow has never been the first to resort to aggressive nuclear rhetoric, President Vladimir Putin told a question and answer panel at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. The nation's nuclear doctrine only allows the use of atomic weapons in exceptional cases, and the current situation is not one. He added, when asked whether Russia should climb the nuclear escalation ladder faster, Putin replied that Moscow has never initiated such escalation. Russia has never said it was ready to push the red button, the president stated, adding that Moscow has always called on other nations to treat such issues seriously, but was instead accused of nuclear saber-rattling. We are not brandishing nuclear weapons, Putin said. Russia's nuclear doctrine clearly states that atomic weapons can only be used in the face of a threat to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country, the president stated, I do not believe that it is the case now. He warned, however, that changes to the doctrine are not ruled out. According to Newsweek, Vladimir Putin may look to change the nation's nuclear doctrine amid an ongoing war with Ukraine. This doctrine is a living instrument and we are carefully watching what is happening in the world around us and do not rule out making some changes to this doctrine, Putin said. Putin also recently spoke with several international news agencies and mentioned Russia's nuclear doctrine, saying, For some reason, the West believes that Russia will never use it. We have a nuclear doctrine. Look what it says. If someone's actions threaten our sovereignty and territorial integrity, we consider it possible for us to use all means at our disposal. This should not be taken lightly, superficially. The doctrine allows Russia to use nuclear weapons if another country uses a nuclear weapon against them or if the very existence of the state is put under threat, Al Jazeera reported. Earlier, top Russian official and Putin ally Valentina Matvienko also made comments about the possible use of nuclear weapons. Personally, I don't feel like we are on the verge of nuclear war, but the trends are not good, Matvienko said. If there is a real threat to the existence of our state, a serious threat to our security and sovereignty, then, of course, we will use the entire arsenal, all the capabilities we have, she added. Putin's personal humiliation. Atlantic Council pointed out the weakness of Russia regarding Crimea. There is a full-scale war in Ukraine, and from the first months of the confrontation, the Ukrainian side attacked Russian troops in temporarily Russian-occupied Crimea with all available types of weapons, including those provided by the country's Western allies. Western-supplied missiles played a central role in the battle for the peninsula, allowing Kiev to methodically deplete Russia's air defenses and sink warships, the Atlantic Council writes. The most striking attack occurred in September 2023, when Ukraine, with the help of Western cruise missiles, bombed and partially destroyed the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol. If, for Putin, Kherson was a shame, then it was a very personal humiliation. The material notes. According to the publication, the important thing is that this did not lead to World War III but the dictator withdrew most of the remaining warships from the Crimean coast to relatively safe Russian ports. The apparent inconsistency of the Kremlin's public position on attacks on Russian territory has a number of practical implications for the future conduct of the war. It highlights the flexibility of Russia's red lines and reinforces the perception that Moscow is primarily seeking to exploit the West's own fear of escalation rather than establish any real boundaries, the article emphasizes. Last week, it became known that Ukraine's main allies allowed Kiev to strike some territories of the Russian Federation. After this, Vladimir Putin hinted in Tashkent that Russia might launch retaliatory strikes on European territories and threatened a global conflict. Previously, the Russian authorities have repeatedly threatened the West with a nuclear strike in the event of an encroachment on Russian lands. According to the advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Mikhail Podolyak, in fact, there are no red lines. The Russian authorities quickly realized that Western partners like theoretical constructions and continue to fence them in one after another. They constantly inflated those fears that, in principle, were absolutely propaganda. Macron annoys Biden on Ukraine issue. White House sees French president as a joker in card game. 
French President Emmanuel Macron, during a recent telephone conversation with American leader Joe Biden, proposed sending Western forces to Ukraine to train troops in the war zone. According to Politico, the US president did not support Macron's proposal. He expressed concern about the potential consequences of sending troops from any NATO country to places where they could be in the line of fire and escalate the conflict, according to two people familiar with the conversation. It is noted that the conversation ended without any solution. As the publication points out, Biden and Macron do not agree on several important issues. The French president has planned for himself the role of a supporter of European self-sufficiency and self-determination. At the same time, the White House sees him as something of a joker in the cards, making the Biden administration nervous. Despite all the differences and 35-year age difference, the two men began to trust each other. Recently, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had signed documents that would allow the first French instructors to soon visit training centers in Ukraine and become familiar with their infrastructure and personnel. Analysts say France's troop deployment could set a precedent and make it easier for other countries to follow suit. They named five options for deploying NATO troops in Ukraine. Reuters wrote that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine, despite concerns from allies and criticism from the Russian Federation. Russia continues to throw out threats against Western countries. The other day, the press secretary of the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, threatened to hit French instructors if they were sent to Ukraine.